I don't always play slots, but when I do, I play high limit. Stay filthy, my friends. What's up, guys? So a few of you guys have asked me, how is it now in those casinos? So I thought I'd make you guys a little list and tell you exactly what to expect when you guys actually go to the casinos. So number one thing is no more valets. So I used to be able to park up to the very front because I'm actually top tier at just about everywhere I go. But unfortunately you can't do that anymore. No valets, no parking up front. The only people who can park up front are the tribal members. And before you even walk in, you have to get your temperature taken. So there's a little screen that, I, so we went to a couple different casinos, so ca different casinos do it differently. But um, one of them, they actually, when you walk up, there's a screen and you put your face on the screen and it actually takes your temperature. And I believe there's some type of facial recognition as well as maybe your eyes or something, because you still wear your mask as well. So yeah, anywhere you go, you have to wear a mask inside the casino. So after you take your temperature, you're allowed in as long as your temperature isn't above 100. So if it's at 100 or even one point over, you're not getting in. Once you get in, you'll be greeted by someone with some hand sanitizer. And there's some weird hand sanitizer because there's a few of them that smell pretty funky. They don't smell like normal hand sanitizer. Also, a lot of casinos have the glass in between like little plexiglass in between maybe it's not plexiglass probably just plastic but in between the games so the actual slot machines there's a little piece of glass now there's different like i said different casinos have different things as far as saquon goes if there's two machines then there is not on every every two machines but some of them on the two machines there's a piece of plastic in between you now, if there's five machines or so on a row, then every other one is open. So that's one thing that they're doing. Also that I noticed, as far as Saquon goes, the doors for the VIP are actually removed completely. So I guess they want to limit the actual touching of everyone touching the doors and everything. I don't know if they've done that anywhere else so far, but I know they did do that at Saquon. Now, let's say you want to go get a bite to eat. Now, the restaurants are open. Not all of them, so as far as like food courts and stuff, I believe those are all closed, but some restaurants are open. And yes, you can go inside, enjoy a meal without your mask, which is pretty nice. So they do seat you six feet apart from everyone. So that's also nice as well. It's kind of, you get more of an intimate, you know, meal as well. So that's kind of nice. At Saquon, the buffet is completely closed. You cannot get into the buffet whatsoever. But, believe it or not, over at Viejas, you can get in to the buffet, but they serve you, which is kind of a weird ordeal. They actually give you a menu, and you pick out your food on the menu, and then someone else goes and gets it for you, which is kind of a, kind of takes out the fun of being at a buffet. All right, guys, so you have to see this madness. So, with a buffet... They have to bring you everything. You can't actually go to the buffet, this is a viejas. <laughs> so we have the most weirdest combo of food. It sounded so weird to actually order it on the menu. <laughs> so we got Caesar salad, we got, <laughs> we got prime rib, we got chicken wings, we got tacos, we got chicken over there, we got crab, pokey, sushi. Oh my God, mashed potatoes. I want more. <laughs> This is terrible, guys. The buffets, when you order it like this, it really shows you how much like <laughs> you order that you don't need. It's terrible. All right, guys. <laughs> I will say I believe Viejas is a little more lenient, which I'm not saying that's better whatsoever, but they are more lenient as far as your mask goes and eating and all that good stuff. But they did do kind of a weird one over there that you can't take any food into the casino from the restaurants which was kind of strange because considering right now in this whole pandemic deal everyone is just ordering takeout so I, I didn't really understand exactly why you couldn't take your food from 
the restaurants themselves over to there. But hey, different folks, different strokes. And yes, unfortunately, the lovely pools are closed. All the pools are closed as of right now. Now, I heard rumors that around June 1st, that's when all the pools are actually going to open up. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate, but hey, that'd be great because the pools are actually one of the greatest things over at Saquon and Harris and all the different things, all the lazy rivers and all that fun stuff. So pretty much the casinos, just mainly just you have the mask, you have the no valet, the eating is a little differently. So it's, it's a little differently than what you guys are used to, I'm sure, but you get used to it pretty much. The mask kind of suck the worst because you have to have the mask on at all times. Oh, also for all you slot channels out there, Saquon, I can't speak for everyone. Viejas, I never got told anything. I actually had permission from marketing department to film, you know, prior to all this craziness that happened. But I actually had in a video you guys will see coming up when I was filming, a guy came up and he wanted to flex his power or something. He kind of had an attitude, but he told me that I could not film. I tried explaining like, hey, you know, like I have a YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. I have marketing, you know, privileges and all that stuff. And nope, he didn't have it. He wanted to call the VP of operations and get me to stop filming. So I had to take off. I left Saquon and went to VAOS and started filming. And I told them the story, like right as my first hand pay, I explained to them, I was like, hey, you know, they, they told me I couldn't film and that's what I do. I'm not going to come over here and play all this high limit stuff and, you know, not be able to film. It's either... I'm going to be able to or not, and they were fine with it. So you might take that into consideration as well if you're going to Saquon. All right, guys, pretty much concludes all the new things about Saquon and all that. But one more thing I want to add to it, not, not to do with the casinos or anything. We've recently come across and we found out that 80% of you guys are not subscribed. What the hell? Come on, guys. Definitely smash that subscribe button turn on post notifications we are posting daily we are back in action guys hope you guys enjoy this for all you newcomers definitely check out all the old videos we got tons of views on them and awesome hits crazy chips all that good stuff definitely high limit all right guys hope you guys have a good day take care